Hey guys, this is Lucas from Evies, and today we are going to set up an InMotion L9 scooter. The newest versions from InMotion are a bit more complex to set up than the old ones, the first ones we got. When we first got them, I wish there was a video that came with it showing us all the different nuances and how to set it up, but there wasn't. So I am going to make it, planting the seeds for the children of the future to enjoy the shade. How noble, let's get into it. So here we are, we're opened up. As you can see, I've cut the top of the box off for movie magic, but this is exactly what you'll see when you pull the top off. Follow the instructions on the box, by the way, on which way to lay it out. It'll make things a little bit easier. I don't even need to show you, it's quite simple. Arrows up, easy. So when you open it, this is what you'll see. If you bought it from us, you'll get some nice EV stickers inside to give to your kids or put on your scooter or do whatever you want. So buy from us. You also get a one year warranty that you don't get anywhere else in Canada. User's manual, it's okay. Put it off to the side. You got your uh, charging brick. Put that there. All to access the mother load. This is all the hardware you'll need to tighten and fasten everything, as well as the family friend to the end of the charging cable. We'll go over what each of these things are here in a second. But first, let's look into the basics of what you see in the, in the styrofoam here. We have the deck of the scooter, got the wheel, front suspension assembly, and the stem that goes up into the, into the uh, neck of the scooter, as well as the main stem and the top assembly. Pull this guy out first. Line this up here. Get this just kinda, kinda loose just a little bit dislodged. Make sure not to pull too hard on this cable, obviously. Pull this one out here. So, nice gentle tugs. Everything should come out easily. Make sure when you're putting this on that this clip is facing this way Boop. when it goes on, just as it would be out the box. Don't flip or twist anything around. And that this is facing that way as well. First couple, first one, not first couple, fool me once, shame on me, right? Or shame on you, shame on me, whatever. First one went this way when I set it up and I literally screwed it in and was like, finito, not quite. Make sure this is going this way. Get that in there nice and good. I like to do that right away. Pull this up. Now, this is important. Come get a close up of this one. This is important parts right here. So the saran wrap covering this is holding all of the bearings and everything that we need in the exact position it needs to be right out the box. You don't need to move anything. So all you need to do is just, you don't even need to pull this off, just slide it off or unwrap it, whatever you prefer. Keep your fingers on both sides just in case the bottom bearing comes out. Oh look, it's already here. Sometimes it comes in that, sometimes it comes in this. You pull this up, slide it in and just right on as it should be. Keeping still mindful of not pulling too hard on that cable. Now, flip this around. Yet again, making sure this part is facing towards the deck of the scooter. Now, once this happens, once we have this into here, saran wraps off, that's put up, this is put on, headlights facing up, easy peasy. Move this out of the way. Don't throw this away yet. Don't forget about that piece. It's happened once before here too. We were so confused. It wasn't me, but I'll just say it was me to take the fall for the team. Put the kickstand up. Now it's freestanding. You're not balancing the thing, worrying about what to do with it. Good to go. Now, take this thing maru. Get all the schmutz off of it. Put it in here. Fasten it. Nice and good. Just get it as finger tight as you can for now. Good enough. Now, take that's pretty much there. Once you're at that point, just give it a couple good, it's like five or six good pulls this way. It never gets, this is quite annoying, it never gets tight enough that like, you know, you can't tighten it anymore. So you kind of just have to give it, I found like, five or six good ones from all the way over here to all the way over here, you're totally fine. So, a couple more. Yeah, nice. Now, 
pull that back. Make sure this is all the way up. Clip, easy. Let's just take out the rest of the stuff to not have too much stuff in the way. This is important. We'll get into this in one moment. Put that on the deck. This is just an extender, a valve extender for your uh, valve stem on your tire if you wanna fill the tire up. But you don't wanna have to get your hands in there if you have big hands like me. It's kind of annoying depending on what kind of pump you're using. Just this extends it out so you can access it easier. I don't really ever use it, but. Et voila, movie magic. We have one, two, three, four, five screws in. Only two remain. And this is where this part comes in. So this is the fastening clip that when you fold down, clips into here. So easy to install, obviously. All you need to make sure to do is take the long bit up. If you forget that, remember, LBU, long bit up. Don't forget it. Let's do some movie magic again. <laughs> I wasn't even screened into that. <laughs> up to the front and what is the most important part, I'd say, of the assembly. Everything else up to now has been, once you see it done, pretty straightforward. This is straightforward too, but extremely important. Something a couple people have forgotten. One thing you do not want to forget. Not this part, this is hard to forget. <laughs> you don't even need to do it if you don't want. Just get this out of the way. Be sure not to cut the cable, of course. And very delicately cut all this stuff off. Now, this bit. These are loose. This goes like this. See how the wheel's staying there and this is going like that? You don't wanna do that while you're driving. So <laughs> you wanna tighten it. Every single one that I've just kind of done by eye, which is how we do them all, have been totally fine. So you wanna go up to the front here. So I'm going to get my feet in between right here and then I'm going to Straighten this guy up as good as I can by eye. It looks pretty good. I like to use this line right here when I'm looking straight down and try and line it right up with the center. So well, that looks pretty darn good to me after setting up a many of these. So once we have it right, we'll gently come down here and make sure not to move either of these assemblies around too much and we'll just start tightening. Yet again, just like the top, I want to tighten like, not crazy tight, ah, on one side. Maybe about there, till we feel some resistance. And switch to this side and do the same. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then go back and get amongst it get nice and tight. This is fastening the stem of the scooter to the wheel and it's going to go through a lot of vibration when you ride it, which is going to loosen things up. So don't be shy with tightening this. However, don't make the mistake of cranking too hard on it like this and stripping, this, stripping the, uh, the hex nut if you pull too hard one way. It's happened a couple times. And as you know, strip bolts suck. So. I like to counteract that by keeping some thumb pressure on it to keep it in and just give it pretty good tighten until your face is red. It's also quite hot in here. One more. I'm gonna stand up to get some leverage. That'll do. Okay, we're almost done, my friends. Next up, we're going to. <laughs> Next step, my friends, we pump the tires up. I'm going to cheat. Uh, it doesn't come with any sort of a pump. We sell this Xiaomi air compressor. It's amazing. It looks like an old school iPhone. Hey, what's up? But it's 70 bucks and can pump four car tires up to whatever PSI you need on one charge. This thing's insane. Buy one. So nice to have. So I'm going to pump the tire up. Pretty easy. Let's see if you have something that can tell you the pressure. So you can get it as close to, I like to do, the sweet number seems to be to reduce punctures, 39. I think the tire's rated for 45 or something like that. It's too much, it's too much. You might get like a kilometer more range, but 39 seems to be the sweet spot. So I'm married to that number, let's do it. 
It's so easy. Boop. Finito. Don't put the valve cap on too tight or it will burst out the back end and you'll have no top to your valve cap and that's sad. So just nice and lightly tight. And guess what? You're gonna do the exact same thing on the front. Oh my gosh, what do you know? We're almost done, friends. We have one final boss left before we go into some final house cleaning tips to make sure that you're doing everything right. And that is the app. All right, we are in the Google Play Store app. It's the exact same thing for Android, I mean for Apple, <laughs> which I actually use, but for familiarity purposes, we're going to use Android here. Go into the search and just type in, just like you see on the scooter, in motion, in motion app, whatever, just type in motion and you'll see the orange, uh, orange square with the white kind of broken looking eye. Tap on that, install. Maybe some lobby waiting music here. We're ready. Open it. Now, this app is not a good app. <laughs> I'm sorry, in motion. You make an amazing scooter, one of my favorites I've ever ridden. The app is not good. Um, I personally don't use it. It has a couple interesting features that if the app worked perfectly would be good to use, but it's definitely like the Achilles heel of the entire thing. Luckily, uh, it's probably about the best thing that you wanna have not be amazing on it because they can improve upon it. I think they will, we've been talking with them. They're doing some work on it, but with that said, uh, I don't use it very much. The only thing you need it for is to unlock your scooter because if you come here, I'll show you. As you see, if I go to turn this on, and I go to change power modes by double tapping, which we'll go over in a bit, I can't do anything. And if I go to move it, it's locked, it's transport mode. That's why we need the app. So even if you're not an app person, they kind of force your hand. You only need to use it once, so let's go through exactly what we need to do. All right, first things first, we are going to click sign up on the bottom left. Go search your country. We are in Canada, so we're going to search Canada. Now we have one for the area code. Put your phone number in, plus your password. You don't need to have the email address. Um, your call if you want spam from InMotion, if you're into that kind of thing. Phone number, simple password, whatever password you want. Finish, accounts created, we'll move on to the next step. But I'm not showing you this part. Steal my phone number. Once you sign up, it's going to bring you in. It's going to ask you a bunch of permissions, like allow in motion to take pictures and record video. Uh, either deny or while using this app, you don't need that one, but there are a couple you do need. If you're not so like tight with your privacy, then just whatever, whatever you feel like. This one's not imperative. I just do while using app, um, access the device's location um, while using the app, allow in motion to record audio while using the app. Um, access photos, media, and files on your device. Deny. Turn on the scooter, and you'll see an L9 thing pop up. If you're with um, a friend or a partner and you have multiple L9s, and you see multiple L9s come up, all you need to do is look at this serial number right here, and the numbers at the very end will coincide with the L9 you're trying to sync to, simple. If it's connecting correctly, you'll see the Bluetooth, let's take this film off. I know some people are precious about this stuff, but I'm sorry, it's coming off. If you wanna keep it on, it's your scooter, my friend. You'll see that, okay? That means it's connecting to the right one. Now, as you see on the screen, it's going through these eight of eight, like kind of eight screens of eight, or one to eight. Uh, Charge the thing, don't ride it through water, don't hit people, wear a helmet, avoid running over small children, all that fun stuff. Recharge it by plugging it into the wall. Don't set your scooter on fire. Simple stuff. I have already read this safety guidance. Click the box if your big fingers can hit that tiny little box and then just click SCV activation. Some app functions can only be used by the vehicle owner. I will be now certified as the owner immediately. We are certifying, it is certified. Gear on the top right. Boop. Now, speed clamp at 25 kilometers an hour activation. 
unless you only want to go 25K or you have a kid and you don't want them to go over 25K, whatever reason you want to keep that on, leave it be. If you want to go full speed and access all the 500 watts of power that the L9 has, turn that off. It'll say, blah, 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 I confirm. I want to go fast. Now, there's a couple other fun things you can do in here. The lock option, uh, I'll show you what it does and then I'll show you why I don't use it. <laughs> or I won't show you, but I'll tell you. So you press lock, scooter turned off. If I go to turn it on, uh, no, not today. If I try and push it, it's like kind of harder and it'll start beeping on me. That doesn't stop someone from picking it up and running away with it or putting it in their vehicle and driving off. So always lock your scooter when you leave it somewhere. Please, please, please. These things are hot ticket items for thieves. So don't think you're secure just by locking it. It's just one little layer of security. And security is like an onion. You want to have a lot of layers. So unlocking it, simple thing. Now, perfect, it happened. <laughs> Here's the annoying thing, is that the lock function just locks your scooter sometimes. And now I've been kicked out and can no longer get back into the scooter. So I can't believe it happened while I'm setting this thing up. Let's try again. I'm locked out. Now I have to connect again. Now we're in. Now I go back into the thing and we're unlocked. Nope, just kidding. Now we're unlocked. I'm so happy that happened. I'm sorry to shout out in motion for this, but this is exactly why I don't use this app or the lock function within it. That's so perfect that that happens. I don't want that to reflect negatively on the scooter. This is an amazing scooter. The app sucks. Um, be careful with using the lock. Sometimes we've actually had it where someone locks it and then the app just decides to do like a update and the app just wasn't accessible for like hours. Yeah, I'm serious. It wasn't accessible for hours and the person was just calling us like, okay, the thing's locked and I need to unlock it and go on with my life, help me. And we're like, I can't, I call the motion people who are like, we don't know what to do. Unless you really need to use it, you don't need to. Um, stay away. You can do other stuff that doesn't seem to affect it like uh, turning on the headlight. You can also do that through here, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, you can change drive modes, uh, the light effect, which is under there, uh, the turn signals, you see when you turn, boop, signals for you, how nice. Use your hand too, probably a good call. And uh, setting up automatic cruise control, vehicle calibration, a couple things. As you can tell, I'm not a big fan of the app anyway, so. Leave it be. A couple other bits and bobs to go through before we are finally complete. Just, you're pretty much set up, but uh, just some finer points that I wanna go over. Just maintenance and just living with the L9 kind of stuff. Controls on the top. Pretty simple, but it takes care of pretty much everything that you need to use unless you wanna use the app, which we've been over to lock the scooter. Uh, long hold, turn off. Long hold, turn on. Single tap, beautiful bright headlight. Single tap, turn off. Beautiful bright headlight. Quick double tap. Eco, drive, sporty spice. Pretty much just changes top speed. Maybe a little bit of torque allotment too. And now eco, this is a fun thing though. Funny thing. Eco is not the most eco-friendly because it stops you at I think like 10 or 15 kilometers of top speed and the most efficient speed to ride this if you're riding on a flat surface is 25 kilometers. So keep that in mind. If you want the best mileage, 25 kilometers an hour on a flat surface on a warm day. That's about it. Uh, double tap, change drive mode, single tap, headlight on, single tap, headlight off, long hold, scooters off. To hold the thing down, which we haven't done yet, just push down on this. I like to pull back on this already, line it up there, and totally super light. That's it. Tires are pumped up, we've gone through the app, you're set up, you're unlocked, you're tightened up here, very important. Everything's nice and fastened up top, 
you're all good to go, um, charging it. One thing you wanna do the first time that you have it is plug it into the wall, charge it fully until you see the green light on the charging brick. So let's actually just do that, why the heck not? It doesn't matter which port you use, uh, charging from dead, like 0%, 1% to 100% takes I think 7.3 or 7.4 hours charging with the two ports if you buy an extra charger does it well twice as fast three point whatever hours so you can buy an extra charger and plug both in at the same time you'll charge twice as fast however putting that much amperage through your battery over and over and over again will degrade the long-term health of the battery. So only certain situations where you really need to be charging it that fast if you're doing like food delivery with this and you gotta get back out on the road. But I mean, this thing has a max range of 95 kilometers. You don't really need to be doing it that much. So stick to single charging if you can. Um, like I said, first time as you're charging it, just the first time, make sure that you see a green light here before you take it out of the charge. It's just the best for the long-term health of the battery to balance out the battery cells. That's pretty much it. I think you're ready to ride, my friend. It's been a journey. I hope you enjoy your brand new InMotion L9 scooter. Put some stickers on it. Hopefully you got some EVs ones from us. Ride safe, wear a helmet, don't go on the sidewalk, watch out for cars, pretend they don't see you, and have yourself a good night.